Hi friends, welcome to Canadian Cutting Edge. I've got a package to unbox. I've got very little time, so let's get to the tabletop and take a look what's in here. Okay, so let's pull out our beak, our Hearn's beak. I really like this knife. I just did a review of it today, actually. Of course, you're not seeing it on the same day, but uh, for me, it's today. So let's get this package opened up. And this beak has got the perfect tip on a blade for doing package opening and things. Put that aside. Let's see what we've got. QSP, QSP, and Sanren Mu. So let's put the QSP to the side for a minute. Sanren Mu, uh, I thought I had reviewed almost everything that Sanren Mu's got out there. And uh, the other day, well, a couple weeks ago now, several about a month and a, a month ago, I noticed there's a San Remu knife that I have not yet reviewed. There we go. There's the number there, the 9301. And uh, they've got their website, sanremu.com. I think that site's working now. For a number of years when I was doing San Remu reviews, the first couple of years of my having this channel, uh, that website was down. <laughs> So here we go, a very thin knife. These liners are very thin. I'm not sure if this is crop copper. It's probably an alloy that is mostly copper. It really looks like copper. It might be copper, but I didn't realize it was this thin. Pocket clip is a tip up pocket clip. One thumb stud. And uh, let's see, is this a special kind of thumb stud? Special kind of release? Nope. Okay, it's a non-locking knife. I didn't even realize that. I just saw that this was a knife that I hadn't reviewed yet. So it's a non-locking knife. Yeah, and it's the 9301. Right there's the number. 8CR 13 MOV steel. There's the date stamp up there. That, if I can get the light to track right, there you go. That triangle and 05 means it's the fifth month. And I forget what year that is, but 2020 is the last year of that triangle because they've had that triangle facing every which possible way already. You've got the same kind of copper rings here for an accent. That looks really nice. Yeah, if you live somewhere where only slip joints are allowed and you like a thin gentleman's kind of knife style knife, this might be one to consider, especially if you're on a budget because this knife was not expensive at all. It was quite cheap. So I'll put links down below for all these knives because by the time I get to review this knife, it might no longer be available. I can tell you right now that I really like it. Um, it is pinned together and not screwed together. So that's one thing to consider. So you're not gonna be able to take this apart. I won't be able to take it apart, but I am able to tighten the pivot pin or loosen it. So that's a good touch. If it was pinned here, that would be you know, a bit of a con. But I really don't mind that it's not that it's pinned here. The pocket clip is removable though. And uh, because it's on an angle, they would have to make a second pocket clip if they wanted it to work here. Or it would have to be further down because it would be on an angle across this way if they made holes for it. But yeah, this brushed metal looks really nice. I'm spending a little bit more time on it because of the very fact that it might not be available again. And this video, since I couldn't post it the day I reviewed it, they just don't have time because I'm leaving for my trip. I'll post this video while I'm in Ontario. Um, I don't know if this knife will still be available or not. I like that full flat grind. It looks nice. It feels very sharp. Hopefully I've got time to measure the factory sharpness before I leave, but uh, I've got to measure the factory sharpness before I start using it, that's for sure. So there we go, by Sanren Mu, a knife that I had not seen before, the 9301. Um, which one should I do first? This good looking black and gold box or the uh, sort of craft paper kind of colored box? Let's do this one first. It is the Puffin. Have you ever had a Puffin? With your bowl and spoon, get Puffin. S35VN. I, I do have to let you know, QSP, um, I've been communicating with them on and off for over a year and um, 
I saw them at Blade Show and talked to them there. That was Blade Show 2019, in June of 2019. And I've reviewed a number more of their knives. They decided to send me a whole bunch of knives. And so it might be multiple unboxings because uh, they went all in one box to my friend in Nebraska. But for him to ship them to me, they're in multiple other boxes. So I'll have, I think, three boxes that will have QSP knives in them. So the Puffin, it says ball bearings in there. Model number is, it's Puffin, o, or QS, not OS, QS127, and this color is E. It's a frame lock knife, S35VN steel. So it's not a low budget knife, but it's not super expensive either. Oh, the pocket clip is both sides. They did cut a little recess there, so the pocket clip can go on this side. Ooh, that was nice. I like drop point blades for use. This is the kind of knife shape, blade shape, that I really like for a basic user for just about any kind of tasks that you're ever, that it's ever gonna have to face. This drop point and sp almost spear point because the angles are almost the same. The belly's a little bit bigger here than on this side, but it's almost sort of a leaf shaped blade I like that you've got the uh, brush this way on the flats and then up and down on the grind. Oh, very sharp. And it feels like it's your standard, maybe just a little under 20 thousandths of an inch thick. Maybe 0.45 millimeters, something like that. We'll see when I actually do the review. Three cutouts here. So they made the relief cuts for the frame lock arm, a decorative thing. Very nice, I like that. Sorry for being off screen, I was looking at my hands and not at the camera uh, screen. Just look at that knife, I think it is a thing of beauty. Again, the review will be end of August or September sometime. carbon fiber. So I like how they put QSP there, not very big, and their QSP triangle in a circle logo that they've used a lot on a lot of knives. And then S35VN right there. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. So put this stuff to the side. Let's take a look at what's in this QSP box. It is the platypus. Get to focus here. The platypus, or platypus, I should say, 14C 28N stainless steel blade, G10 handle, the QS123, the color code is A. So put that aside there. Wrapped in plastic here. Here we go. So it's uh, OD green and black G10. Deep carry pocket clip. Ooh. Sort of, um, oh, what's that pattern called? I know the pattern name. Oh, well, I don't know. It's a kind of purplish kind of color. Really, really very fancy. Hopefully you can see that color. It might look a little bit blue to me, to you, to the, to the light, because of the light in here but I think it's actually a little bit of a bluish purpley color. On the website, they'll tell us what it is. I'll, show, I'll give you a link to the QSP website for both of these knives down below. I like that pivot pin too. That's a nice looking pin. And the other side's the same. And the Torx T8 is on the inside. At least I'm assuming it's a T8. It looks that size. The T6 body screws, three of them. I like three. That makes it very, very strong. And a deep carry pocket clip. That goes on both sides. I like the plate that they put in here. And there's a bit of an edge there. 
I wonder if that will work as sort of a wave feature. Probably not because it's too small, but maybe I'll try it on some pants. Thumb studs and oh yes, that felt good. Is this, this thing's not assisted. Nope, it's not. It felt almost like it was. I don't think they've done assisted. So there's a weight reduction, skeletonizing on these liners. I like the little uh, scallop jimping sort of on the release there, the liner lock release. Fairly thick arms. Oh, very good detent. I really like that. Some jimping on the thumb rest. So sort of a tomahawk tip. Nice fuller here that changes depth. It's deeper here and it's more shallow. So that's a graduated fuller. I like that. That's a nice touch. Thumb rests are comfortable. Nice rounded G10. Very comfortable knife. I like this. This is nice. I might take this knife along this summer. Maybe I'll have time to review it while I'm in Ontario. Maybe, probably not, but maybe. This is very nice. And uh, the edges are chamfered and uh, they've been softly sanded. They're, so it's sort of like a cross between chamfering and rounded on the edges of the spine of the blade. Blade centering very slightly off but very good that's going to be nice so these three knives on this unboxing i really like these please leave some comments down below even if you're just saying hi to me i will re be reading the comments while i'm in ontario um, but at some places that i'm going to there's no uh, internet access there uh, they just don't have internet access and i don't have any data on my cell phone plan so i might not be reading the comments quickly or promptly, but I'll be reading them all and responding to most, hopefully. So QSP uh, Platypus, QSP Puffin, and the 9301 by San Renu. Thanks for watching my video. Please comment. Please share this video with somebody. Hit that like button. And when you subscribe, also hit the bell so you can be notified of all the videos. Wow, this is light after picking this guy up. Well, it's actually not heavy either. This is a very nice light knife titanium frame lock. Thank you. Uh, and remember, friends, always cut towards your chum, not your thumb. Bye for now.